All right, greetings everyone. Welcome. Welcome again to almost the final leg of the MDOP today. And you know, it's such a wonderful time and uh, we've had over this morning since we began at 7 in the morning all up to this point, almost the final leg. Yeah, but so after this, you know, Penang is going to close us. But nevertheless, this segment is from 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. under the 24-7 Prayer Malaysia and Friends. And so my name is well, uh, Patrick Leong, <laughs> welcoming each one of you, tuning in, you know, in your persistence and, you know, in prayer and praise, you know, this is what we need. This is what Malaysia needs. Amen. And so come, let's open with a word of prayer. Come. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Abba Father, we thank you for what you've done, for what you are doing, and what you are about to do, Lord, in this nation. Lord, we thank you for the churches. Lord, we thank you for the body of Christ that has come this very special day, Lord, to honour you and to lift our nation into your hands out of concerns, out of a love for this nation, Father. And so, Lord, Father, we continue to lift our beloved Malaysia to you, Father. In Jesus' name. Ya Papa kami yang di surga, suci lah namamu. Datanglah kerajaanmu, terlaksanalah kehendakmu di bumi, sebagaimana di surga. Berilah kami makanan untuk hari ini. Ampunkanlah kesalahan kami, sebagaimana kami mengampuni mereka. Yang bersalah terhadap kami, oh janganlah biarkan kami tergoda, tetapi selamatkanlah kami daripada yang jahat. Engkau lah yang empunya. Kerajaan, kekuasaan dan kemuliaan selama lamanya. Amin. Ampunkanlah kesalahan kami sebagai mana. Ampuni mereka yang bersalah terhadap kami. Oh janganlah biarkan kami tergoda, tetapi selamatkanlah kami dari pada yang jahat. Engkau lah yang Kerajaan, kekuasaan dan kemuliaan selama lamanya. Amin. Amen. And in Isaiah 24 verse 18 it says, you know that the heavens 
will open yeah and the floodgates of heaven will open and the earth will tremble so let's continue in praise and let's continue to tremble yeah the grounds of malaysia amen here we go hallelujah thank you lord all right hallelujah did you feel the mountains tremble did you hear the oceans roar when the people rose to sing of jesus christ the reason why amen did you feel the people tremble did you hear the singers roar when the lords began to sing of jesus christ the saving one Amen. and we can see that god you're moving a mighty river through malaysia and young and old world turn to jesus think why think why do you tremble when all the saints join in one song and let the stream flow as one river to wash away our broken so and we can see that god you're moving a time of jubilee is coming and young and old Oh, think why you have a Jesus 
are the days of Elijah Preparing the word of the Lord And these are the days of your servant Moses Righteousness be restored And though these are days of great trials Of famine and darkness and sword Still we are the voice in the desert crying Preparing the way of the Lord So before He comes And riding on clouds And shining like the sun bones becoming as flesh and these are the days of your servant David rebuilding the temple of praise and these are the days of great harvest that's right the fields are as wide in your to stay for those who call upon his name amen thank you jesus hallelujah let's continue to on worship exalt him Oh 
Philippians chapter 2 verse 10, 11, it says that the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow in heavens and on earth and under the earth and every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Let's sing this bridge together. Let's declare it together. So who can stop the Lord Almighty? And who can stop the Lord Almighty? over this nation father but here we are wanting to surrender ourselves because we love this nation do you love Malaysia everyone the Lord has placed us here like 1726 placed us here in this time
kamu ku setia Keranamu menesia Keranamu Bagai warna dan rupa Putih, biru, kuning, merah Lambang kita di bendera Sebagai anak penyesia Generasi masa depan Hari Malaysia Kuduakan Jalur gembira With heart 
prayer in this segment we are praying for the northern states um, represented by police Kada um, Penang which um, will take on the session after us uh, for Para for Kelantan and as well as for Trangganu so we have our friends ready in the back room or rather the up room here at PPC Putrajaya prayer center and we'll pass the time over to sister Terry and Josie Shalom dalam kasih Kristus kepada kita semua pada malam ini kita mau berdoa bersama-sama bagi uh, kota ini negeri Perlis dan uh, beberapa perkara doa yang kita doakan um, oleh um, kuasa Tuhan. Mari kita berdoa bersama-sama. Saya mengaminkan uh, doa ini. Kalau Bapak kami yang di surga, kami satukan hati kami berdoa untuk bagi kota ini kepadamu. Bapak surga, kami percaya kau melihat suku dan mangsamu yang berada di kota ini uh, dan kami berdoa untuk khususnya uh, Raja Perlis dan juga para pemimpin Kau akan memberi mereka kebijaksanaan dan belas kasihan untuk uh, memimpin uh, di dalam negeri ini. Bapak Surga kami berdoa juga untuk um, rakyat mereka supaya mereka sentiasa dilindungi daripada segala bahaya, segala kesukaran yang mereka alami di dalam kota ini. Biar kau melindungi mereka, memberkati mereka, memberikan mereka ketabahan ketika mereka menghadapi kesukaran. Bapa surga kami juga berdoa supaya kota ini menjadi kota yang mengalami engkau Tuhan dalam apapun yang mereka lalui Tuhan engkau yang memelihara mereka baik dalam uh, segi uh, uh, ekonomi uh, daripada segi sosial dan juga rohani mereka Tuhan engkau melawat kota ini Bapa surga kami berdoa untuk um, Perlindungan bagi uh, uh, setiap mereka Tuhan, Engkau akan memberi mereka uh, kekuatan dalam mereka menghadapi segala cabaran dan juga kami berdoa ada kesatuan antara uh, rakyat supaya mereka saling uh, membangun antara satu dengan yang lain dan kerjasama untuk membangun uh, uh, agar kota ini mengalami uh, keadaan yang aman dan uh, damai di dalam kota ini Tuhan dan kami juga tidak lupa supaya mereka sentiasa melihat ada pertolongan yang kekal daripada Engkau yaitu mereka akan melihat terang Tuhan akan uh, akan hadir di dalam kota ini Bapa Syurga Tuhan kami percaya uh, waktu mu Tuhan akan melawat kota ini uh, pada pada ketika Kak mereka dalam lemah, engkau tidak membiarkan mereka. Bahkan engkau mengangkat mereka menjadi satu kota yang mengalami lawatan Tuhan yang luar biasa. Terima kasih Tuhan, kami uh, mau memberkati mereka uh, dengan kuasamu Tuhan. Engkau bekerja pada waktu ini. Terima kasih, kami angkat semua ini di dalam nama Tuhan Yesus. Kami berdoa. Amen. Amen. Alright, that was for Keda and Perlis. <coughs> 
<laughs> Sorry, excuse me. And right now, I'm going to introduce Pastor Timothy Lam from Ipoh Para. He is an itinerant uh, preacher at Full Gospel Church Ipoh, and he will be praying for the state of Para, where I grew up in Para. Love Para. Over to you, Pastor Timothy. checking um, he was here saw pastor timothy on site um, just waiting for him meantime yep state of para we'll just wait for a little while more and see um, for pastor timothy to come in all right i see him on screen all right pastor timothy lam over to you Pastor Timothy, can you check and see? He's having audio issues. Okay, he's having audio issues. All right, we'll pass the time over to. We we'll probably, you know what? Let's let's do um, Kalan, uh, the state of Kelantan. Pastor Roland, are you here? Pastor Roland, okay. Let's let's do a switch, a quick switch. Let's do Kelantan first, um, and then we'll come back to Perak. Um, just to sort out the the issues with the audio, yeah. Okay, so Pastor uh, Roland is um, from Kelantan, uh, uh, from Kayan, uh, Miri Sarawak, yeah. But he is um, running uh, a church in Gracious Faith Sanctuary of Glory in Bahasa Malaysia in Kota Baru, Kelantan. He is one of the lead pastors. Uh, as well as um, the senior pastor is Pastor Nick Razian. So I uh, will pass the time over to uh, Pastor Roland right now to intercede for the state of Kelantan. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Hallelujah. Uh, selamat malam, salam semua. Mari kita bersama-sama berdoa untuk uh, negeri Kelantan. Di sini ada tujuh bahan doa yang akan kita doakan bersama-sama. Hallelujah, mari kita berdoa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah Bapa kami yang bertakta di kedudukan jalan surga, Tuhan Yesus yang kami sembah yang kami sanjung, kami tinggikan. Bapa pada malam ini Bapa kami ingin datang sekali Bapa khususnya Bapa ingin berdoa untuk negeri Kelantan ya Tuhan dan kami berdoa Bapa untuk masa ini Bapa untuk negeri Kelantan khususnya. Itu kami berdoa Bapa untuk semua gereja-gereja yang ada di Kelantan terutamanya untuk pastor-pastor dan juga umat Kristen di Kelantan itu saat ini Bapa. Dan Tuhan, kau tahu Bapa negeri Kelantan adalah negeri yang sangat sukar untuk kami melakukan memberitakan firmanmu Bapa. Tapi kami percaya Bapa untuk kami berdoa ya Tuhan untuk gereja-gereja yang sudah ada yang kau telah letakkan di negeri Kelantan saat ini Bapa. Biarlah Tuhan kiranya Tuhan engkau yang akan terus menjaga dan juga melindungi Tuhan lamanya Tuhan pastor-pastor dan juga umat Kristen yang ada di negeri Kelantan ini Bapa. Dan Tuhan kami berdoa Bapa biarlah engkau yang akan terus Uh, melindungi dan juga mengurapi semua pastor-pastor dan juga gembala gereja yang ada di Kelantan yang kau telah letakkan dari dulu sehingga sekarang Bapa dan kami berdoa Bapa supaya mereka terus kuat dan dan uh, terus iman mereka terus kuat Bapa di dalam uh, uh, mengikuti dan juga meng, uh, menerima panggilan mereka untuk datang ke tempat ini Bapa dan Tuhan kami berdoa Bapa untuk uh, mereka Tuhan dan kau juga Tuhan akan mencukupkan apa semua keperluan mereka juga Tuhan Yesus dan juga kami berdoa Bapa perlindungan nimu ya Tuhan yang akan sentiasa bersama dengan uh, mereka itu ya untuk pastor ya Tuhan Yesus. Dan Tuhan kami juga ingin berdoa Bapa untuk uh, kerjaan yang baru untuk di Kelantan ya Tuhan Yesus uh, untuk menteri besar dan juga ahli-ahli Exco yang telah dipilih yang telah uh, yang kau pilih juga Tuhan kami percaya Bapa semua mereka adalah uh, yang kau telah uh, pilih ya Tuhan dan kami percaya uh, mereka juga uh, yang uh, yang akan uh, menjalankan tanggungjawab mereka dengan uh, sempurna ya Tuhan Yesus. Ya Tuhan, kami berdoa saat ini Bapa, apapun ya Tuhan, perancangan mereka Tuhan untuk negeri Kelantan ya Tuhan untuk uh, musim yang selepas ini Bapa, 
biarlah Tuhan kiranya Tuhan kau yang akan bersama mereka di Tuhan Yesus kau mengurapi mereka Tuhan supaya apapun plan mereka Tuhan uh, yang, yang akan uh, menjaga semua rakyat uh, Kelantan ya Tuhan Yesus dan kami berdoa Bapa kau yang akan uh, uh, bersama dan juga uh, melindungi mereka juga Tuhan Yesus dan Tuhan yang ketiga Bapa kami juga berdoa Bapa untuk uh, uh, golongan rakyat Kelantan ya Tuhan yang uh, saat ini uh, di mana mereka dalam kehidupan yang kesengsaraan mereka Tuhan dan kami berdoa Bapa ya Tuhan kau yang akan juga uh, Membekati mereka ya Tuhan dari segi banyak segi ya Tuhan supaya kehidupan mereka mulai menjadi baik lebih baik lagi bapa dari saat sekarang bapa dan kami supaya ramai lagi bapa supaya tidak ada rakyat Kelantan yang akan berpindah ke tempat lain ke negeri lain untuk mencari pekerjaan bapa dan kau buka ruang pekerjaan juga Tuhan Yesus untuk di Kelantan yang terutama ya bapa untuk rakyat rakyat di sini Tuhan dan Tuhan kami juga ingin berdoa bapa supaya Tuhan Uh, mata mata uh, agung mata yang terbuka dan juga mata hati uh, rohani supaya uh, rakyat di sini uh, kenal akan uh, ada kerinduan bapa untuk cari uh, dan mengenali engkau ya Tuhan Yesus dan yang ke lima bapa kami ingin berdoa ya Tuhan untuk um, negeri di Kelantan bapa khususnya ya Tuhan yang kelima adalah biarlah uh, pengampunan ya Tuhan kami mohon pengampunan untuk negeri Kelantan dan juga pemulihan uh, dari perkara-perkara yang tidak Uh, benar dan juga yang mendukakan hati kau bapa dan kami doa bapa apapun itu Tuhan dosa dan pelanggaran yang telah uh, semua uh, yang telah ada di negeri ini bapa itu Tuhan kau punilah bapa supaya uh, negeri ini kau uh, pulihkan bapa utamanya itu Tuhan untuk uh, iman iman yang orang yang ada di sini itu Tuhan Yesus dan Tuhan kami berdoa juga Tuhan untuk gereja mu yang ada di sini Tuhan biarlah dipenuhi dengan rukun roh kudus mu ya Tuhan dan biarlah Tuhan uh, kami rindu bapa ada pimpinan Roh Kudusmu yang hidup yang akan selalu memimpin uh, gereja-gerejamu yang ada di sini Tuhan Yesus dan Tuhan yang akhir sekali bapa kami ingin berdoa untuk uh, kesatuan gereja di uh, negeri Kelantan bapa dan kami bersyukur Tuhan untuk uh, gereja-gereja yang telah engkau telah letakkan dan engkau telah uh, bagikan di gereja, uh, di negeri ini bapa dan kami rindu bapa untuk semua gereja yang ada di sini bapa baik apapun uh, denominasi di uh, yang ada di sini bapa Tuhan supaya ada kesatuan yang uh, sangat baik bapa dan kami rindu bapa engkau yang akan uh, yang akan uh, bersama-sama dengan kami Tuhan dan uh, biarlah gereja ini berjalan berganding tangan bersama-sama sebagai satu tubuh di uh, di, uh, di, di di Malaysia ini bapa dan juga di uh, negeri Kelantan saja bapa terima kasih bapa ini lord all kami Tuhan menyerahkan semuanya dalam tangan kami Tuhan semuanya kami angkatkan di dalam nama Tuhan Yesus kami sudah berdoa haleluya amin Alright, terima kasih Pastor Roland untuk doa itu untuk uh, negeri Kelantan. Uh, let's get back in alphabetical order. So after Kelantan, now we will pray for Kedah. Alright, so over to you, Sister Terry. Let's join our hearts, prayers for Kedah. We want to pray for Kedah Sultan and leaders, asking for God's guidance and wisdom decision making. May they lead with integrity and work for the well-being of all residents, regardless of race or religion or culture. May we ask Lord to protect the state of Kedah from any natural disaster and adversity. Let's, let's call the Lord down to protect the state um, and to keep his community safe and to grant them the strength to overcome any challenges they may face. May the Lord God protect them, protect them from any infiltration, also protect them, Lord, from any adverse natural disasters. And we ask, Lord, may you bless the land with prosperity, prosperity from all people, and prosperity together with harmony and unity among its diverse population. We pray for unity of all people working together and staying together. We pray for a, a understanding and compassion uh, to, to be living together among one another and to be truly one heart of one another 
as good neighbors and also let God's love and compassion shine through, fostering understanding and, co- and cooperation among these people. Lord, take care of this state of Kada, this Kada, state of Kada that we so love. Lord, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you so much, Sister Terry. Um, can we just do an intermission here with a, a worship piece? Uh, um, just thumbs up from Pastor Timothy. You're okay now with audio, just to make sure. All right, we'll come back to you, That's Pastor Timothy. Name. Yeah, all right. We'll come back. All right, we'll come back to you, Pastor Timothy. Let's do an uh, intermission because we are ahead of time. So let's just uh, continue in just a, a short time of worship. And uh, then we'll come back to... Um, a pair up and then we'll finish off with Trunganu with Rebecca Joy okay come let's uh, continue in worship thank you Lord this is a beautiful song it says this is our time and, and what a time to live our lives and so truly it's it's really glorious and it's really timely that um, the Lord has chosen has raised um, all of you you know to to be part of Malaysia Day of Prayer and right now Christian is actually videoing me because here in Putrajaya Prayer Center overlooking behind me is actually a beautiful sunset we just can't capture it on the the camera here but nevertheless you know as we we you know proclaim and prayer and praise you know um that um all that we do all that we have done throughout this day from this morning to this afternoon until this evening you know let let the heavens um, you know, have begin an outpouring over this nation from all your prayers and all your praise in Jesus' name. What a day to be alive. What a time to live my life. To have a destiny and call. And see each day by day unfold. What a day to know you, Lord, to live and walk within your love, to see the wondrous things you've done, and know there's greater things to come, and we sense the wonder of it all, we feel and there's not a day to be wasted God help your church Amen Help us to see Oh, this is our time And this is our day And now's not the time to hold back or delay Dreams can live again, faith and hope restored, taste and see that the Lord is good. This is the day of salvation, and time to break free from containment. Yes, people need, people need the Lord. What a day to be alive And what a time to live our lives To have a destiny and call And see each day by day unfold What a day to know you, Lord To live and walk within your love wondrous things you've done and know there's greater things to come and we sense the wonder of it all we feel the urgency and there's not a day to be wasted 
instead So God help your church And help us to see Oh this is our time Yes this is our day And now's not the time To hold back or delay Dreams can live again Faith and hope restored Taste and see that our Lord is good And this is the day of salvation And time to break free from containment The people need, the people need the Lord Yes, people need Pastor Timothy, who is an itinerant pastor from the Full Gospel Church, Ipo Para. Over to you, Pastor Timothy. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it would be good if we have a map, map. Ah, the map and then the flag, flag of uh, Para. Okay. okay. Uh, Para is the second largest state. Uh, in Semenanjung. Uh, the uh, square kilometer of land. Um, and all the way uh, up north is Hulu Perak, down to Hile Perak and Batang Padang. This you will see the map. Uh, there's land, there is mountains, there is sea, and there is river and fresh water. It is the land of grace, Para Daru Ridwan, uh, the land of grace. Um, so we want to give thanks to God for Para uh, with uh, all the grace and goodness of God upon this As the silver, because uh, it's famous for tin, and it produced the world's uh, most of the tin of the world uh, from 1940s until the 1980s. So, uh, besides Salango, yeah. So we thank God uh, for the riches He's endowed upon Para. Uh, yet, in the same time, we are also in need of uh, development in many other areas. Uh, we ask for grace upon grace uh, to reach the state of Para. So let's join together. And while we look at the state of Para, the flag, uh, a few years ago, people who came to Para to pray, uh, they felt that these three colors are of significance uh, for the state of Para. The first one, uh, white, and uh, then followed by yellow, and followed by black. Um, the white one uh, represents God's righteousness, purity, and holiness. And in the middle, uh, the yellow color is a royal color, the kingship, the kingdom of God, uh, is the reign and the rule of God. And so these two combined together is on top of whatever darkness, the black color, the corruption, the crime, the evil, the sinful things that happen uh, will be no match for the kingdom and the glory of God. Hallelujah. Let's pray in uh, faith and believe uh, the restoration of Para uh, to be a state that will belong to God with all God's grace and goodness upon the state of Para. Father, we want to thank you that even the name Para Daru Ridwan silver state of grace uh, is a name given to the state of para lord your word tells us that silver belongs to you go over 
over Perak. We pray for the indigenous. We pray for the majority, uh, for the different races to continue to live in harmony. We uphold the Sultan and the Menteri Besar, as well as the State Legislative Council, together with the State Exco. We ask for your mighty hand of grace to continue to lead Perak out of any political deadlock, any form of entanglement that is of evil origin, and set Perak free to reach her destiny. We ask you, O oh God, to help those who have yet to embrace your love, to recognize your rule, your lordship, your kingship over this state of Perak. Lord, let us be grateful and thankful to you for all the blessings that you poured out on the state of Perak. Father, we praise you and thank you for you have planted your people in this state all the way up in the north to the south, east and west of the state of Perak. We pray for a mighty touch of yours to grant to reach out to the rest of the Perakians. We know that uh, there's always this idea and thought in the minds of the people uh, that Perak has a lot of people who are of old age and of senior seniority in age and the young people have left this state yet lord you are bringing in young people you are bringing in the next generation of leaders to raise them up to be a blessing uh, not only in perak but throughout the country and outside of malaysia so we pray for a restoration of uh, your goodness and mercy upon the land of perak and all its people Thank you, Father, for your grace that is sufficient for us. We ask, so, Father, also for believers to reach an understanding and recognition of their role that they have to play in evangelism, in outreach, and concerns for the poor and the needy, as well as missions. Lord, we pray for your goodness and mercy to continue to flow so that your kingdom, your purity, your holiness, your kingship will overthrow all the powers of darkness sin corruption and criminal activity in the mighty name of jesus we exalt the name of jesus over the state of para for the honor and glory of, of your, name. your name we pray, we pray this, this in, in jesus, jesus name, name. Amen. amen amen thank you so much pastor timothy That's such a heartfelt prayer for that state love that state i grew up in sitiawan and um i had really fond memories uh, of that state thank you so much pastor timothy and right now we will have sister rebecca joy she is from kamaman presbyterian church representing the state of trunganu over to you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, we can. Just breaking up a little bit. I uh, post a little bit. I, and, uh, can you hear me? Post a little bit. And is it okay? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, okay, can hear now. Is it okay? Yeah, now better. Okay, now is better. it good? Okay. Um, I suppose I was supposed to give a little Point bit of points as to, as to what to what pray, to pray for, for, for Terengganu. But uh, just now as I was uh, listening to Pastor Timothy pray and I was asking the Lord, God, what points should I bring before you? And, and I just felt like he uh, reminded me of... He, he just said this to me, and I hope it's not completely irrelevant, but I, I just wanted to share from my heart. That's the only way I know how to pray. So God reminded me that when I was a child, I was I used to have everything that a child could think of. I lived a life with completely no lacks, and I have everything. But yet, I was also someone that had nothing. I had everything, and I had nothing. And I think that in this past few years of just walking even closer to the Lord, um, I realized that my prayers and every time I come before him, the list is shrinking. The, the more I become closer to him, the less 
I know how to bring before him the many points because the main thing and the prayer point that I always go back to has been, God, I, we just want you. And I think that is the heart cry that we have for Tringano. If we go into the points, there are many things that we can pray of, but we want the one thing and that is we want him. So let's just come together and just pray. Lord, I just want to thank you, God, that even as we come before you, you to, to pray, pray for, for Tringano, Tringano. God, God, I, I thank, thank you, O oh Lord, that you are reminding us, O oh Lord, that the most important thing that we could ask for and the greatest honor and privilege that we could pray on behalf for our land is that, Lord, that we would desire to have a greater love for you. And so, Lord, as I come before you, O oh Lord, as one that was born in this land, Lord, I just cry out to you that what we desire is not another move that would come and go. It is not the riches and the blessings that is only given in this life and God the other. But what we ask that you would do in us, O oh Lord, in the church, is that we would be grounded and rooted in you, Lord, that, that we would have that faith and that love in you that does not compromise based on the circumstances of what we're living in. Lord, we want to thank you, oh God, for all that we go through, the discouragements that we go through, and sometimes the lack of the numbers in church, oh God. That these are ways, oh Lord, in which you use to mold us and ground us and to strengthen us. That in the end of the day, it is the foundation of who you are that makes us strong. And so God, we thank you as well. That Lord, we cry out for your presence, oh Lord. And we thank you that you have not forsaken us and that you have not forgotten us. But that we are your child, that Jesus, we thank Thank you, O oh Lord, that you gave up everything to purchase us for yourself. And so, God, we ask that you would give us the eyes, O oh Lord, to see the value and the beauty and the potential that is of this land, that we would have your heart and your desire to stand on this land that belongs to you. So we come before you, God, and we thank you for this land. We thank you, O oh Lord, that the riches that we have is from you. O oh Lord, we thank you, Lord, that what we boast about, O oh God, is that in the midst of feeling, Lord, that loneliness, that you are still with us. And so, God, in all things, we give you thanks. For God, if you are with us, O oh Lord, we can stand regardless of whatever it is that comes at us. So we praise you, Lord. Thank you for your love for this land. And thank you for your love towards us, your people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much, Sister Rebecca Joy. That was such heartfelt. Indeed, um, you know, the Lord is with us, um, you know, and um, the only way that we know this is because it's, it's, it's the will for us yeah, to 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 know his will and what the will for us is to pray in all circumstances yeah because he is with us and for us and so now i will just pass this time over to uh sister chrisanne who hates the 24 7 prayer malaysia right. it, um, this is uh i've written a national prayer of blessing for malaysia and i'd like you to join me uh those of you who or who are on YouTube right now, uh, just join me in this prayer as we pray this prayer for our nation together on this uh, Malaysia Day. Heavenly Father, we come before your gracious presence with hearts full of gratitude and hope, seeking your divine blessings upon our beloved Malaysia. We are reminded of the wisdom of your word, which guides us in the path of righteousness and compassion. Take this from Micah 6, 8 and Psalm 67 verses 1 to 2. He has shown you, O mortal, what is good and what does the Lord require of you to act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. And the theme verse for this MDDOP, May God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face shine upon us so that your ways may be known on earth your salvation among all nations 
Lord, we pray for Malaysia. Lord, we pray that we will act justly. Grant us the wisdom and courage to act justly, upholding the principles of fairness and equity in all aspects of, nation, of our nation's life. May justice be the foundation upon which our nation is built. Lord, we ask for Malaysia to love mercy. Fill our hearts with love and compassion for one another. Just as you have shown us mercy and grace, may we extend kindness and forgiveness to those around us, fostering unity and understanding. Thirdly, Lord, we ask for Malaysia to walk humbly. Teach us the value of humility, O Lord. May we walk humbly in your presence, acknowledging our dependence on you and recognizing the worth of every individual in our diverse nation. Lord, we ask for Malaysia for your gracious blessings. May your gracious blessings flow upon Malaysia, O God, as a gentle rain that nurtures the land and its people. Shower us with your mercy, kindness, and understanding. Lord, we ask for Malaysia, for your divine guidance. Illuminate our path with your divine wisdom and lead our rulers, leaders, and citizens in the ways of righteousness and justice. Help our leaders to make choices that bring prosperity and peace to all the peoples of Malaysia. Lord, we ask for Malaysia, Lord, that we may, all of us, have shining faces. Make your face shine upon us, O Lord, as a symbol of your favour and presence that we will mirror Christ to the world. May your radiance dispel darkness, bringing hope and healing to every corner of our land. Lord, we ask for Malaysia, that we will be able to proclaim your ways. Enable your church, Lord, to boldly proclaim your ways through our words, actions and deeds. Let Malaysia be a living testament to your love where justice, compassion and humility flourish. Lord, we ask for Malaysia that we will enjoy unity among diversity. Lord, help us to celebrate the diversity of our people and bind us together in your love and in unity. Help us embrace one another, irrespective of our backgrounds, as a harmonious and loving nation. And lastly, Lord, we ask for your abundant blessings. Shower our nation with abundant blessings, not only in material wealth, but also in spiritual richness, so that we may be a source of blessings to other nations for help. Heavenly Father, we offer this prayer with open hearts and a deep love for our nation. May your blessings continue to flow upon Malaysia, making it a beacon of hope and righteousness for all to see. In the beautiful, wonderful, and powerful name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, then we have a video presentation right now. In the heart of Southeast Asia lies a nation adorned with vibrant cultures, breathtaking landscapes, and a tapestry of peoples. Welcome to Pray for Malaysia. On August 31st, 1957, a historic moment unfolded as Malaya, a land of nine sultanates and three prized British colonies achieved independence. Then, in the spirit of togetherness, the nation of Malaysia was born on September 16, 1963. This union of Malaya with Sabah, Sarawak and Singapore marked a new chapter of hope and prosperity. However, the merger was short-lived as Singapore left this union and became an independent nation on August the 9th, 1965. Malaysia is known for its rich multiculturalism and religious diversity. Sabah and Sarawak combined have at least 50 ethnic groups and over 240 distinct sub-ethnic groups each with their own language, culture and spiritual beliefs. Malaysia is truly blessed, boasting abundant natural resources, breathtaking landscapes, and a serene environment. With its exotic wildlife, lush rainforests, and a diverse cultural tapestry, the country offers an alluring adventure. 
From vibrant festivals and cultural celebrations to delectable culinary delights, Malaysia's celebrated tourism theme, Malaysia Truly Asia, captivates visitors from around the world. Despite the many challenges and difficulties faced by this young nation, Malaysia continues to thrive, seeking to build a beautiful country known for its unity, tolerance, hospitality, and gentleness. With a population of 34 million people today, Christians make up about 10% of the population, and 70% of the Malaysian church resides in East Malaysia. In the decades that followed Malaysia's formation, political fragmentation emerged, paving the way for changes that have since shaped the nation's path and impacted the Church of Malaysia. The year 1987 marked a turning point in Malaysia's political landscape, with significant events sparking challenges that led to greater polarization. The fragmentation of political ideologies and parties led to divisions impacting the unity of the nation. As the political landscape evolved, Unfortunately, the nation witnessed the rise of Islamization and the gradual loss of freedoms enshrined in the federal constitution. Religious minorities encountered new challenges and concerns. Now, more than ever, the Malaysian church is calling for prayer. Let us now bow our heads and lift our hearts in prayer. Gracious and loving Heavenly Father, we come before your throne with hearts overflowing with gratitude for the nation of Malaysia. You have blessed this land with breathtaking landscapes, diverse cultures and a rich tapestry of peoples. We pray for our nation's rulers and government. May your wisdom guide them in making righteous decisions and uphold justice and promote the well-being of all citizens. Father, we beseech you to end corruption and injustice in our land. Let integrity and accountability be the pillars of governance and ensuring a just and equitable society for all. Grant our leaders hearts filled with compassion and empathy that they may be sensitive to the needs and concerns of the people they serve. We lift our nation's judiciary before you praying for an unwavering commitment to upholding justice, fairness, and incorruptibility. Lord, grant us an independent judiciary that remains steadfast in its pursuit of truth and righteousness. May they stand as a beacon of integrity, free from external influences, and committed to serving the people with impartiality. We pray for a judiciary that treats all races and religions with respect and fairness. May they rise above biases and prejudices, recognizing the intrinsic value of each individual and delivering justice with compassion and empathy. Lord, bless our judges, magistrates, and legal professionals with wisdom and discernment. Grant them the courage to make difficult decisions that honor truth and protect the rights of every Malaysian citizen. May the scales of justice be balanced and true reflecting the integrity of those entrusted with upholding the law. May our judiciary be a living testament to the values of equality, fostering harmony and respect throughout society. Grant our judiciary the strength to stand firm against corruption and wrongdoing, ensuring that justice prevails without compromise. Lord, in this land, blessed with different cultures, languages and beliefs, we humbly ask for your grace to guide us towards understanding and acceptance. We pray for open hearts and minds that transcend differences, embracing each other in love and mutual respect. Lord, instill in us a spirit of compassion and empathy that we may support one another in times of joy and sorrow, lending a helping hand to those in need. Guide us to bridge gaps, break barriers, and build bridges of understanding, strengthening the bonds that tie us together as Malaysians. Empower us to be your instruments of peace, promoting justice and harmony in every corner of our land. We lift up your church in Malaysia, praying for strength and courage in the face of challenges, polarization and threats. May your church be joyful in serving, firm in their faith and unyielding in their devotion to you. Grant the church wisdom and discernment to be a prophetic voice 
speaking truth and advocating for justice and compassion and to be peacemakers even in difficult times. We pray for a powerful and unwavering proclamation of the gospel that your message of love, hope and redemption may reach every corner of this land. May the church in Malaysia stand united, supporting and serving one another in love, humility and solidarity, displaying the strength of your grace in their actions. We pray for those that society treats as the last, those left behind and marginalized in society, the aging, the, differ the differently able, the poor and the prisoners. We lift them up to you, Lord, seeking your compassion to uplift the downtrodden, providing them with opportunities, resources and hope. We pray for the least, those considered of little importance or value. We offer our prayers for the refugees and migrants who bless Malaysia with their presence and hard work and contribute to the prosperity of Malaysia. May they be treated with fairness and dignity, enjoying the same rights and privileges as fellow citizens. May they find welcome, acceptance and opportunities to build a brighter future for themselves and their families. May your love, Lord, shine through your church in Malaysia as we extend a helping hand, embracing everyone as precious and worthy of care. We pray for the lost, that they will come to hear of your gospel of salvation. Our prayers extend to those who have yet to hear the gospel, that they may hear it, believe and be saved. We pray for divine encounters, that the message of your love and salvation reaches every heart. We pray for those who feel spiritually and emotionally adrift and unwell, and we seek your guidance to reach out with compassion and understanding, offering them solace and the light of your love. In our prayers, we remember the little, the children and the young people, the future of this nation. We pray for the children of Malaysia, that they may grow up in a nation governed by righteousness, where their rights are protected and their dreams nurtured. We seek your protection and care for them, providing a nurturing environment where they can learn, thrive and grow into spiritual maturity. In moments of trial, we pray that your church in Malaysia will rise, be resilient, strong, a beacon of light, weathering every st storm that comes their way. Together, we seek your guidance and blessings, knowing that you, with you, all things are possible, Lord. Father, we entrust the future of Malaysia into your hands, praying for peace, justice and prosperity to flow abundantly throughout this beloved nation. Loving Father, may your name be hallowed. May your will be done and your kingdom come as it is in heaven. All glory, all honour and praise belongs to you and you alone. Lord Jesus, may you reign over Malaysia. In your mighty name we pray. Amen. Ya Bapa kami yang di surga, sucilah namamu, datanglah kerajaanmu, terlaksanalah kehendakmu, di bumi sebagaimana di syurga Berilah kami makanan untuk hari ini Ampunkanlah kesalahan kami Sebagaimana kami mengampuni mereka yang bersalah terhadap kami Janganlah biarkan kami tergoda Selamatkanlah kami daripada yang jahat Engkaulah yang empunya kerajaan Kekuasaan Dan kemuliaan Selama-lamanya. Amin. Delighted. It was an awesome, beautiful, such meaningful video. And so to close off our session, 24-7 prayer, Malaysia with friends. Uh, let's just do a, 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 a very simple song, a common song that we all know. And we'll close off with the Lord's Prayer as well. Walk the land with hearts on fire. Yes, every step will be a prayer. Hope is rising, a new day dawning. Sound of singing fills the air. Two thousand years and still the flame. 
is burning bright across the land. Hearts are waiting in a longing, aching, yes, for awakening once again. So let the flame burn brighter in the heart of darkness, and turning night to glorious day. Song grow louder as our love grows stronger. Yes, let it shine. Let the flame burn brighter. Let the flame burn brighter in the heart of darkness. And turning night to glorious day. Let the song grow louder as our love grows stronger. Let it shine, oh, let it shine, let your light shine, so they all may see Christ. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our sins as we forgive those who sin against us Lord lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the power forever and ever in Jesus name and everybody say Amen